Hi guys, welcome to video number 207. This one is on Venn diagrams, notation and shading. Uh, really complicated topic this one, I think. It kind of blows your mind a little bit. Uh, but get to know the notation, a uh, bit of practice, you should be okay with it. So, keywords are universal set, intersection, union, element, member, complement, right? All of these things are going to be explained in the um, uh, notation bit just below in the method. So, learn the notation. Uh, then shade correctly, all right, using logical thinking. <laughs> this is the only way I can really help you with this one. So these curly brackets up here indicate a set. That's a collection of objects or a collection of numbers of things, right? Uh, so there'll be things in between these two curly brackets, uh, and that means that's that's included within that particular set, whether it be A, B, or any other letters. This E-looking uh, symbol means element and it's a member of the set so anything that's in these curly brackets that's an element this really important one that's the intersection it looks like an n right so the intersection the element is in set a and b all right so it's the crossover bit of the two circles in the venn diagrams union all right the element is in set a or b so it could be anywhere within a or anywhere within B, all right? Um, the C looking symbol, we don't often see this one, but it is something you do need to kind of be aware of, proper subset. So a set that is contained within another one. So there could be another, like uh, if you look on the first example, uh, we could put a set C in set B, that would be a subset. So C would be a subset of B, right? Uh, and then this little E, squiggly E looking one, that's the universal set. That means everything that's inside the Venn diagram, the Venn diagram is including this rectangle. It's not just the two circles. Okay, so the outside of it, you'll see the little squiggly symbol. That just means everything that's inside it, right? Meaning the universal set. And then there's a little dash that you see after letters sometimes, right? That stands for the word complement. Uh, and the complement is um, the exact opposite of what's in the set. So we'll be next to a letter and it means not in that given set, right? So learn those things, uh, learn what they mean, and then you'll have a chance at these questions. And it starts off really easy, actually. So shade in the regions shown in the Venn, under the Venn diagram. So we just need to shade in A, all right? Now, if we look in the rectangle, there's a circle that represents A, and that's basically just all you have to do is just shade that in. You can do it with these straight lines. Quite often seen it like that. That's just set A, all right? Uh, as and follows as set B, really simple. B is just all of B, just shade it all in, okay? Then we've got A with a little dash, which means the, the complement of A. So basically not A, all right? What's not A? Well, everything that's not A, is everything that's outside of A, so just don't shade A in. All right, shade everything else in, but not A. All right, we can go over B here, but don't go over A. Just leave A alone. All right, and then the same follows for B. Uh, do the same thing for B, just leave B alone. Don't shade anything in B. All right, it doesn't have to be like beautifully done, it just has to indicate the bit that you need uh, to indicate okay so pretty simple stuff with the first question there then we move on to question two shade in the region shown under the venn diagram so this stands for a if we have a look union b all right so look at uh, over here the u shape union uh, that means it's in a or b so anything that's in a or b would be anything that was in this region here in A or in B. So we can just carry on and shade B in as well. Okay. Then unions are a bit easier than intersections, I think. All right. So I'll go to this next union here. All right. Now this one, we've got A or not B. So the combination of A, so let's shade A in first, everything that's in A, and then everything that's not B. So everything that's not B, we just want to leave this bit of B alone and we want to shade the rest of this in. Now we obviously we could go over A again, but we don't really need to because we've got it there already. So just extending these lines and then leaving B well alone or what's left of B well alone. Okay, so that's that one. 
okay now with these intersection ones it might be useful to do what i like to think as a bit of cross hatching all right then i'll rub it out and then i'll remember what it was that we need to shade in so a and b maybe this one's actually really simple but i'll do i'll use my example for this one so that's a intersection b the bit in between so it's just this bit but i'll show you what i mean with the with the shading so if i shade in a that circle a is shaded in then i shade in b and i'm going to go a different way with it i could use a different color if, or you could use a different color if you're practicing this yourself right now look at the bit that's got the the lines that are going both ways so this line this line this is the bit that's got the lines going both ways so that's the bit that i really am trying to indicate there that it's shaded in so i really don't want this there i really don't want this there i just want that shaded bit in the middle okay now i hope that makes sense and we can do the same thing here with this one a intersection not b all right, so let's shade in A. Let's go with A. Bit of shading for A with some lines. And then we'll cross hatch for, for not B. All right, so what's not B? Well, that bit is B, that circle B, right? Everything outside, all right? But we're not going to get anything there, are we? But if we go over those lines, you start to see, oh, we're cross hatching over the, the only A bit. We're leaving B alone again. Uh, not B, uh, just same as that one down there. And then it's this bit here where we've got the, the lines that go both ways. So I will remove all of that and I will shade in. And you can just color it in if you want like that. It's just that bit there. All right, just make sure it's clearly indicated and you don't go into the other sections and you'll get that question correct. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky, I think. Um, when you've got the intersections, but just take your time with it and you should be fine. Okay, now let's move over to the third question. Okay, so this is where we've got to decide between four of these things. Um, this is just using the same logic again. Um, so we might need to take our time on it. It's multiple choice. You could just go because it's one mark. I'm having that one. I think it's that one and then move on, right? It's <laughs> if you're running out of time in the exam paper, it's probably just worth your while guessing these ones, right? I don't often say that ever but it probably is because it could take some time to work it out right but using a bit of common sense we've got uh, four of these to choose from all right now if we're thinking of um, what these things mean right this means a unioned with b but not that right because it's all in brackets and we've got the dash on the outside so it's not that so it's the exact opposite of a union b all right now a union b would be shading in a and b circles i think we did it earlier up there in question two so the exact opposite is the stuff on the outside isn't it so actually we've found that one straight away all right that is that one in question number three right it's the exact opposite of a union b now you could you could look and see what some of these other ones were and it might help you to do that um a intersection b what's the opposite of a intersection b well a intersection b is that one so the exact opposite of that would be everything else shaded in and not that bit, okay? Um, which would, if you want to visualize it, if you could draw your own little scrap ones, it would be all of that shaded in, all of that shaded in, and everything outside shaded in, just not that bit in the middle, right? Which isn't very clear because it's a scrappy one, right? And yeah, have a little practice, see what those ones are uh, as well. Um, post some pictures in the comments why not um anyway now last one here uh we've got is this b is that a well a would be all of it shaded in so it's not that one so we'll say no it's not that one uh is it b not or not b well not b would be uh everything that's not b would well, that bit's not shaded in outside of b as well so it's not that one sorry my computer was uh just asking me to not um hold on my computer was asking me to delete stuff then because it wasn't letting me record anymore it is still working now so that's good uh yeah basically uh i've circled that one a uh, intersection not b because it is the same as the one that we've got above right so remember we shaded in a and then we shaded in everything that was not b and that was the cross hatching bit there um over that section so that bit was shaded in so that is the one that we wanted all right and if we wanted 
to know what that one looked like a union not b so a union with not b so a is there b is there so shade all of that in there union with not b uh, would be all of the, the bits there around that as well okay so that's not obviously that picture there which is actually the one above the other one that I said it was. All right, so yeah, we've decided it's that one and that's the end of that. Sorry, the end of that video has probably got a little bit messy. Had to delete some videos because of my computer's running out of space, made so many of these things. Um, yeah, but take care of yourselves. Uh, tricky topic. There's a little bit, um, it comes in useful later on when we're doing some um, probability questions using our Venn diagrams as well. So keep an eye out for that video. Take care of one another. Take care of yourself. Uh, see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.